In this lesson, we'll talk about relations and rollups, two important notion features that create a bridge between different types of information. We've been talking a lot about what connectivity and consolidation get you, but how do you actually bring your different types of knowledge together? In the next few lessons, we'll dive deeper into the features that make the connected workspace possible, starting with relations. A relation is a type of database property that allows you to establish a link between two different databases. It creates a connection between different pieces of information enabling you to view and access pages from one database in the context of another. Once two databases are related, you can also create a rollup, which allows you to view additional properties from the related database. Let's look at a simple example here to understand how this works. Consider two databases, one of books and one of authors. We could create a relation between these two databases such as that every book has a related author. Then, when we click into the author, we'll also be able to see all of the books associated with them. A useful rollup here might be added to the author's database to sum the number of books associated with them. Similarly, we could use a rollup on books to show the author's hometown. In both cases, the rollup information still lives in the original database, but these powerful properties bridge the gap, allowing you to view it wherever you need. In a work context, this same functionality lends itself to plenty of useful workflows. For example, you might connect OKRs to projects to provide a higher level view of how your team's work is contributing to company initiatives. Connect documents to meeting notes to determine if a document is actively being discussed and help teammates prepare for meetings. Connect a wiki to FAQs to quickly find answers to questions related to a piece of content. Connect projects to teams to see which team is responsible for each project and powers team homepages. Let's head back to our Acme workspace and add a relation between projects and company objectives. Once it's established, we'll use a rollup to view all the docs related to an objective. We can add a relation property with the normal add a property flow to either the databases we want to connect. When we create a relation, we'll have the option to show it on the other database. On our projects database, let's head to the database menu, then properties, add a property, and add the property type relation. Here, we're prompted to pick a database to relate to and can choose the option company objectives. We'll go ahead and toggle this to also show on objectives and then add the relation. Now, we can go into any project and connect it to a company objective. Back in our objectives database, we'll see that the relation also appeared and we can add projects this way too. Furthermore, we can add a rollup on this database to view properties of the related projects. Here, I'll select the relation to projects, then choose to show the property docs. In just a few quick steps, I have a much more comprehensive picture of my company's work. As you can see, relations and rollups unlock near endless ways to view your team's knowledge. By leveraging these features, you can gain a higher level view of your team's work and foster a more connected and efficient workspace. In the next lesson, We'll dive deeper into other features that contribute to a connected workspace. Stay tuned.